Hello everyone, it's Vincenzo here, um, starting my own channel here, this is going to be the very first video. Uh, the first few videos actually are probably going to be of uh, the Elder Scrolls Legends here. Uh, if you all have seen me on Schwartz's channel, I love this game, I've done a spotlight with him, I've popped up in a few of his videos before. Um, I just love this game and I think it's a game that already has a nice, nice uh, tight knit community. So. I'm hopefully going to use that to kind of build up my channel until I go into some other things. Uh, so the deck I'm going to run for this uh, kind of debut video is my, it's a typical um, Ramp Rage Ebonheart. And uh, it's at least my own spin on it. Like I call this my most like competitive deck because you actually do see this uh, quite a bit on the ladder uh, sometimes. And um it's kind of my own spin on it. Um, any other time I've seen a deck, it sometimes doesn't have draw or it relies too much on the lethal. So I try to kind of balance it a little bit. I will say the only thing it's kind of missing is drain. So if you get aggroed very early, which is probably this deck's uh, worst matchup, um, you only have Brynjolf and one Knight Talon Lord in my version of this. And I already have it a little bit over 75, so I didn't want to add too many of the other ones. And I kind of don't like the curve. I feel like it could do with a few less, but I think these are good. All kind of uh, late game kind of slowing down tools for when the opponent, you know, if they're playing something big, you kind of have something to deal with it. Uh, the only other form of drain that there is is Snake Tooth Necklace, but it's not super reliable. Like, you have to get it on one of these kind of bigger guys like Belligerent Giant or a beefed up Pure Blood Elder. So, yeah, we'll take it on the ladder and see how it goes. Alright, looks like we got a game. probably going to call this series uh, trying to get back in the legend or attempting to get back in the legend because uh, I have not been playing as much so I have not been in legend uh, for a few months. I've mostly been playing enough just to get past uh, rank 5 and a little bit here and there. So that's where I'm at right now and you know hopefully I can get back into it this month. Uh, if I play enough. Um, first time I made Legend, I was just number 173, so I was in the top 200. So hopefully we can surpass that uh, throughout the course of this month. If I have more time, which I hope I do because I took a couple of weeks off of work. Not just to play this game, but, you know, I do enjoy playing this game. So it looks like it's going to be a very grindy Empire deck, and for those of you who don't know, I really hate these uh, really grindy kind of decks. Um, hopefully, unfortunately I do have only the one Belligerent Giant, however, I do have three Dishniks, so I do have that other form of um, support removal. And I can already tell that I'm getting, I'm going to be a little annoyed at this game, because <laughs> you don't really need to execute for 2 3. Like, I don't know, I usually use executes for an Oblivion Gate, or I don't know, something that can has less than 2 health. That kind of seemed a little unnecessary. But you know, Empire is just going to do what it does. The Black Hand sees all. Alright, I'm gonna try to uh, negate some of the health in this game. Coward. And. Yeah, it's probably a good idea to get rid of this while I can. Because that card just annoys the hell out of me. For the black <laughs> Fine. Um, 
think, so I can keep this alive, honestly, and at least kind of keep them there. Yeah, I'll ramp. I'm kind of not drawing into the ramp, so I kind of kind of need to get that up. This makes it to where he has to um, either get rid of this to save that. Never mind. Never mind. I thought I was doing something smart, but you know what can he do? do that just for the round but I'll actually draw some cards because I need I need an answer to that I, stand ready. I really do need an answer because I'm sure there's probably gonna be some goblins some finish offs leaf lurkers I'm sure that's what's gonna happen <laughs> there's a goblin all right well uh, I'll just continue ramping the waters yeah that seems fun with our Lord well I'm getting rid of that because of course they have that. Of course they do. Uh, I think now's probably a decent time to draw cards. Yeah, draw another one. Alright, well we got Bryn, y'all. So, kinda good we got him early in case they decide to switch it up on us and go aggro. See, like, that's a card that you should use Execute on. Because you don't want to keep lethals, but come on, the Skaven Fire Master, like, what is he going to do? What's he going to do to you? Alright. I should have seen that one coming. Now might be a decent time for Aeliad Guardians. Possibly. Let's see what we're drawn to. My Night Talon Lord is pretty nice. I'll Scale get rid of this. Yeah, I'll play it up. Hopefully we uh, can get... Of course. I didn't come here of course they have that. Got to use this ability off of that. Wait. A venom tongue would actually be kind of nice right now. Yeah, we're not getting it though. Uh. So I guess for now, I'll just uh, bop that. try to usually when they play an altar I usually try to always <laughs> keep something off the board so they have to play something and then sacrifice it but I really need to draw into a Dushnik because uh, this is getting a little annoying that I haven't gotten one yet I arguably could have um, waited on that to kind of get a nice combo yeah I probably should have waited until they got something bigger so I could have squished with Night Town or gotten it uh, and they're also just drawing all the cards that's pretty annoying your coin or your life choose okay yeah I really should have held on to that uh do not squish me Of 
thing is they probably have a finish off Leaf Lurker for when that curse comes, so I don't think it's going to matter too much. Maybe I'll just kind of throw a wrench, throw a wrench into their plan, not make that curse cost zero. <sighs> Well, that made them waste uh, four magicka, so I'm not upset with it. I didn't come here alone. Yeah, sure. Keep drawing. Oh my god. All right. All right, dude. Yeah, What's your sure, I'm gonna draw all the cards you want. He's already at, he's already halfway done with it too. Come on, please give me a Dushnik. It's not a Dushnik. It's not what I wanted. I'm sure he's gonna get it all the way up to Alien Guardians himself. So. Right. Here we go again. Finish off. That doesn't help me at all. Well, it actually kind of does. Right. This is probably the most annoying card. I'm gonna do that. And then I'm also going to do this. Because they don't need to see what's in my hand. I don't need them seeing that. And this is probably the next annoying thing. I think that turned out well. Um, tackle this guy. And yeah, I'll poke him. We just drew a ton of cards. And we're gonna start getting, we haven't drawn a single, we have not drawn a single Pure Blood Elder or an Unstoppable Rage and we're like getting to like almost halfway through our deck. So. We're, we're starting to draw into the draw cards that were just, I guess, in the middle of the deck. So, we also haven't seen a single dish, Nick. We've gotten one. Yeah, we got the one belligerent giant. But not the two dish Nicks. Cute. It's cute, man. Walk with our Lord. I'm definitely gonna save the red ear. He is gonna drain for a lot though. Which is unfortunate. Sign me up. Kind of lost. Lost all the archers gambits, lost most of my squishes. Oh, they're already at eight. My father, sharp and thirsty. <sighs> I do love this game, but man, it can be really annoying sometimes. All right, well, they don't have a um. What was that? Eight? Yeah, they don't have an eight class. Why do I even bother, dude? I 
that's the third one, right? He's just gonna ramp into oblivion. I didn't come here alone. All right, we'll see what I we can do with that. Yeah. Not a lot, probably. Either. I was kind of expecting to see uh, that nine cost Argonia. Oh boy. Oh boy. What is it? Probably Cicero is what he's going to pick. Pretty, pretty flowers. Of course. Of course, Necromancer comes down right after that happens. Of course. Dude, I am. <laughs> Where is. You see, this is why I put a lot of draw into the deck. And. I haven't seen a single Merchant's Camel. Nor have I seen. I've seen two of the fresh starts. We stole one. Only one scout report, one shadow shift. And I can't nuke the board yet. I really can't. I'm not even at 18 magic either. That's the worst part. So I think I'll let him. Uh, I'll get my one card in. Or my one ram, so that way when I eventually draw into it, I'll be good to go. And let's see what's next. A 10 cost. So what, like, uh, Manticora is probably going to come down? I don't know, Manticora, not Tascat. Uh, okay. Guardians are probably going to come down next if he hasn't already drawn them. <laughs> you must I feel like he definitely could have played them by now. No man can deny his destiny. Okay. Yeah, I'm definitely been more going to kind of hold off. I'll play him. No man can deny his destiny. I'll play him just to mess with him. Yeah, I'll play him just to mess with him. Hopefully he'll play a bunch of cards right now. He's probably going to sacrifice. If he sacrifices this sweet roll, then I know he's going to play or try to summon Alia Guard. I don't think he's going to do that, though. Which is kind of foolish. I don't know why he did that. He kind of... Oh, yeah. There we go. This game is taking way too long. There we go. And now we deny that. Look at that. Beautiful. We must and protect our strong. I don't need an iron astronaut coming down. He's freaking healed into oblivion, like I said he would, because all three of the Dushniks are the freaking bottom third of my deck. Or close to it. Why am I even like trying to win this? This dude's gonna deck himself. If I don't do it to myself first. Alright, I'm gonna do this. This seems like a really nice, smart play. I 
think that's the third. No, it's only the second one. Dude, come on. Come on, dude. <laughs> I'm gonna save this for the other altar. In fact, I will keep people alive. We've done two altars and two. Yeah, we might need the guards. We must protect our stronghold. And I'm tired of them healing. It's getting really annoying. And not cool. I need some of the drugs are coming in though. Some more of it. I need one I need my other fresh start. I need the merchant's camel. Immediately got it. And I'm sure that's the one that he duped. Duplicated, I should say. I was going to try to record multiple videos, but this is taking way too long. So or multiple games. This is taking way too long, though. I'm already freaking done with my tea. Okay, watch. I'm gonna play this. Two of my options are gonna be a pure blood elder and an unstoppable rage. Okay, never mind. Alright, I'm not gonna let him get just free healing, but I have to let him hit me for it. thing is, I don't want to play an Unstoppable Rage when I'm probably going to draw into my Pure Blood Elders very soon here. This does happen occasionally, which is why I put the draw into the deck, so that way you can get to them faster. Because this sometimes happens where they're literally at the very bottom. I've had it happen to where they're literally... Two of them are the very last two cards in my deck. I've had it happen. Thank you. Thank you for finally showing up. Yeah, that's just unconditional draw, so we're going to take that. I have a plan for that. Hopefully he doesn't have a squish. Okay, I don't think he does. Alright, well first, let me get rid of that. My oh, internet connection went out there for a second. That's only my second rage. Oh, that's my last one. All right. I bark and burn. This is interesting. Got my Alia Guardians down. The hist heals and rejuvenates. Just in case it does some shenanigans.
the good thing is, is he pulled it out of my deck, so even if he... Can... <laughs> Can I just, like, finish this game already, my guy? Like, come on. I'll lead my family to glory. That's at least the last one. So. Banish. Another banish. Yeah, whatever, dude. Whatever. Drown in the river of battle. I'm kind of getting to a point where <laughs> just I don't know. Your coin or your life, choose. I kind of should have duped, duplicated Brignol. Give me my pure blood elders, <laughs> please. We must protect our stronghold. I'm gonna have to. Oh my God. I'm gonna have to do it. Surrender or die. Shall we put in this? I'm just not gonna get these. I'm probably gonna lose this just because <laughs> I didn't draw them when I needed What's them. Your I didn't draw what I needed it. I didn't draw what I needed when I needed it, unfortunately. Kind of got all wonky in the middle. This guy's just trying to be moving everything. Yep. How many javelins have he used? He hasn't used a single javelin. Two shadow pen priests. Probably lost. I smell blood on the wind. So I'm just gonna whatever. Alright, well that was that was my last hope. Nine freaking cards. Alright. The battle is yours. Jesus Christ, dude. Alright, we're gonna try Ebonheart again. After a very annoying game with a very grindy Empire deck. Cue right into a game with Telvani. I even took a bathroom break, made myself another uh, thing to drink, and was hoping that that would kind of reset. I don't know. I have like this weird. Uh, well can't think met, of the word. Marsh friend. This might be handy. Well met, Marsh friend. I can't think of the word, but I have this weird like thought that like I'll like hop onto a game and win a lot. And then I'll like go to the bathroom or something, and then I'll lose all my progress, just lose straight games. I'll go to the bathroom, come back, start winning again. So I thought that that would um, help me. <clears throat> it seems like this is some kind of aggro, which <laughs> kind of sucks because I didn't draw any of my um, early creatures. Must I do everything myself? Like, I'm not even... Here we go. Sign me up. Yay. I can play something. I 
learn to do your work. Some tasks cannot be delegated. All right. That is a very interesting card to run. By my honor. I never see anyone play that guy. Uh, I'm gonna try to take some damage off the board. I kind of need to. I probably should have snake tooth and necklace. Sometimes my brain goes a little too fast and I see something that I want to do and I just want to do it. <laughs> and I sometimes don't think every playthrough. That's probably why I'm not that good at this game. I have no end of surprises. I at least don't think I am. I learn quickly. <laughs> Alright, gonna start ramping. Uh because I really need to. Yeah. He drew a lot of cards with him on the board, too. I think he did, at least. So we're probably going to have um, our work kind of cut out for us with uh, how slow they might, or how slow I been playing, the I should say. Alright. I'll get Gort walled down. He's probably got silence. But uh, it's kind of my best bet to get more creatures down. And that's really... He's not really that great. Yeah, he's got silence. Really a cursed specter. Alright. Hopefully within the next turn or two I can get a... Uh, a knight, or not a knight, Talon Lord. Um, a squish Die or knight, Talon Lord. <laughs> um, I'm gonna need to start slowing him down somehow. Rise, my sir. So hopefully that puts in some work. He's just going for it though. Not giving me a chance to breathe. And this is probably why I need more uh, guards. I raise the spine of Crap. <laughs> uh well. That kind of honestly kind of blows. Die and Behold my power. Actually, no, it doesn't. Okay. Took a lot of damage off the board. I live for this. Looking a little better. Okay. By the Lord, Mother and Blizzard, I, see this. I do love singleton decks. I just hope that's not going to be a mushroom tower. Crap. This is why I have not been playing that much. Vengeance. Oh, okay. Aha. And go off, man. Go off. Uh, okay. We still got this. Feel the power 
At least this game was quick. And not like the other one. I might have to draw a fresh start. I hope I get a squish. That's the only thing I can really do to kind of turn this around. They will have to play something that I can... Oh God. Why? Okay. Uh, I'll just draw cards. <laughs> Seems like uh, a decent time for it, and these are all kind of crap. No man can deny his destiny. If I fall. Okay. Well, I have just enough to play Night Talon Lord and stop the Borage. That's Watch actually kind of nice. Don't. Okay. For a second, I thought he was going to uh, ward up the one over here. Nicely done. Keep belligerent giant. We'll give this one ward. We make our stand for Cyrodiil. Yeah, guard can be a Keep that. More draw is always nice. Now suddenly I'm back into this. I sense great power. Alright, what are we going to see? Assuming it's going to be some uh, four cost action to probably silence this or creature. I'm also probably going to kill Lanith. Now that he's uh, presented me the opportunity to do that. And if he doesn't break the ward, I'll do it with Murgit's Camel first. Get rid of that. I still have the 8-8 eight, eight here. We might actually <laughs> be able to turn the game around there. Yep. Alright, let's start off with this. Uh, so we have our pure blood elder. We'll draw another unstoppable rage before, because they are playing blue, before they can, uh, piercing twilight it away. We make our stand. And I might get them to just Your under 30 health. Your blood will spill. And I don't have any drain. If I play this, I'll have 12 plus 19. That'll put me over 30 to get Martin Septim off. It's going to take a whole turn to set set up. But hopefully they'll play a bunch of cards. So that way we have a pure blood elder and a rage also like as an ability to win. Otherwise, we'll probably just have to smack them down. Bye. Well, can't do either of those things now. Oh my god, how many cards are you running, dude? One, two. So all but two of these. He's running a, like a hundred card deck. I always find it very surprising when uh, I lose the hundred card decks. Because they shouldn't be as consistent as they end up being sometimes. But it is what it is. Uh, how many cards do I have in hand? Seven. 
Face me, uh, you hit him dog. once. Play. He's probably got a Mana Marco, so I think this is probably the least oh, useful card for him. Because if he Mana Marcos Martin, I can just kill him. That's at least the goal. And I'm not going to mess around with uh, trying to draw into a pure blood elder freaking 30 turns into the game. Let's draw some. And yeah, get her down. He's probably going to start avoiding uh, playing too much. Nice try. Care to go again? Who goes there? Okay. Awaiting your command. What lane are you going to play this into? Surrender or die. Walk with our Lord. Okay. Uh, so... Yeah, I think that'll get me to winning. There we go. Uh, GG, Rylock. GG. And thank you for finally helping me complete my, um, last daily challenge here. Alright guys, well, that's all I unfortunately have for y'all today. Uh, I was hoping to get like three to four games if they were quick enough, but that first game took up way too much time. The second game was kind of like medium length, but gotta roll with the puncher sometimes. Uh, hopefully I'll get a few more out this week. Um, you know, if y'all like what y'all see, like and subscribe. If y'all don't like what y'all see, something that I can improve on, definitely let me know down in the comments. Uh, I'll try to improve where I can. But until then, I hope you all keep playing, and I'll catch you all later.